Hello, I am Katrick and today I'm making this video for the Construct2 Academy. Hey everyone! I'm going to show you how you can make your own 2D game without writing any code. This video is aimed at complete beginners who have no experience with Construct2 and or programming in general. If you are already experienced with C2, please skip this video and check out some others from the C2 Academy. To make your own 2D games, you will need some software to help you. Open your browser, go to www.skyra.com and on the main page, you can click the free download button. This takes you to the page of the latest stable release and will start automatically a download of this file. Save it to your hard drive. When your download is complete, execute the file and say yes execute to all the warning dialogs that you are going to have. You then have access to the setup installation of Construct2. Follow the instructions on screen and click Next. Be sure to read the license agreement, accept it, click Next. Choose where you want Construct to be installed on your computer and click Next. This step of the installation determines whether you do have a 32 or 64 bits computer. You can let the Auto Detect option selected. Click Next. If you want, you can create or not a desktop icon. In my case, I won't. Click Next and install. This dialog appears when you have another version of Construct2 installed on your computer already. It asks you to uninstall the previous version, which is always recommended. Then the installation goes on. And you have a last step, which allows you to get the latest version of Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, check for driver's update, always do so, and possibly launch Construct2 right when you click the Finish button. Execute Construct2.exe from where you have installed Construct2, and you are good to go. Construct2 is a visual editor that allows you to place directly objects in a layout that will be the final scene that your players are seeing. You add plugins to your project and you can add behaviors directly to those plugins to change the way they act and the way your game is going. You can, thanks to the events sheet, add some more logic to your game. The event sheet is read from top to bottom and whenever an event is encountered its conditions are tested and if all its conditions are true then the actions are executed. Construct2 makes the difference between an object type and instances of an object type and through the event sheet, when a condition picks, selects a few specific instances of an object type, then the actions are applied only to the selected instances. When making your game with Construct2, at any moment you can preview, run your layout, which will directly happen in a browser and allow you to check out and see how your game is going at the moment. To learn further on how to use Construct2, you can directly from the startup page browse some examples that are shipped with Construct2. It is also highly recommended to read the manual the online manual from Construct2 which contains all the informations you need about Construct, its interface 
and then its projects, behaviors, plugins, and all the system conditions, actions, and expressions that are bundled directly and available as tools for you. Moreover, if you are starting with Construct, do go and check out the Beginner's Guide to Construct 2 in the tutorials on the website. It is the best first approach you can have to Construct and how it's being used. You can obviously go and check out more videos from the Construct2 Academy playlist. And finally, you can make sure to check out our forums and especially the How Do I forum and it's How Do I Frequently Asked Questions which contains a lot of links to specific game mechanics and other questions that already were asked. When you are done with your game, you can then export it to the several platforms that are available with Construct2. Host your game online and share it with the world. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't hesitate to check out some of the other Construct2 Academy material. Thank you for watching.